Our first VOR is set to 115.4 in this um, navigation radio, and we've tuned it so we're going towards that. And according to our flight plan, uh, that heading was a heading of 208 to BJC VOR, and so I've set that here. You can see just because I've gone to the runway a little bit, I've already veered off. I don't need to set this second one yet, um, but I'm going to. And if you look at your heading to DBL, I've already tuned into um, the station of 113. I should be going a heading of 242 according to that document here. And so I'm going to set that so that as soon as I get to my first VOR and this needle starts to really swing one way or the other, that's an indication that you've gone right over the top of it, then I can immediately um, look to this one and change my heading according to whichever way this needle is to try to get on track to my second VOR station. So here we go. And I'm going to actually um, fast forward the simulation a little bit so that you can watch this all the way through. So we're going to go up to eight times speed until we get to 500 feet above altitude. And now I need to get on this line. So I'm going to show you the map really quick. You can see that I have gone from this radial here going towards the station, I'm on the right-hand side, so I need to veer to the left. So if I curl around to the right, I'm actually entering Denver airspace, uh, but as long as I'm not within the spe specified altitudes, I'm okay. So we'll see if it shows up. It's not showing up at the moment um, what that airspace is supposed to be. But um, I need to be around... Um, 8,000 feet for that to work. So I'm just going to continue to climb. I'm going to peel to the right, try to get back on this radial, and then curl over here. Hopefully that'll give you an example of how to do that. So our altitude, we're still climbing. You can see our vertical speed is going up. And I'm actually stalling because I'm pitched up too high here. So there we go. That's a little better. Getting a little more speed. And I'm pretty close here to 8,000 feet, so I'm going to start to roll right. And I want to get on this heading of about 210. So once I get there, I'm going to sort of level off. I'm still going at um, a super high speed here, so it's a little hard to control. And it says I need to go left of this heading, so I'm going to actually fly south. I'm going to go 30 degrees south so I can connect with that point. So let me pause this. I'm going south right now, and I want to show you why. If I go south from here, eventually I'm going to connect with this pink line, this radial. Once I connect with it, then I can fly straight to that VOR station. So let me sort of show you how that works. I'm going to give myself a chance to fly straight south, and I'm going to keep flying straight south because that is left of this navigation VOR um, radial. This radial is set at a heading of 208, according to your um, your flight plan. So if I go at a heading of 180 or 177, something around here, I'm going to intersect with this line at some point. Uh, it just will happen. I'll eventually catch up with that line. And when it does, this will start to swing. And as it does, then I need to change my heading to a heading of 210 so that I'm going along that radial. I'm trying to connect up with that imaginary path from that VOR. So now that we're sort of stable. Uh, one thing you can do so that you're not pitching up and down always, you can see this, I'm having to pull the joystick back to get it at zero. If I let the joystick go, my nose goes down. If you hit button four on the joystick handle, the very top, you're going to see this pitch, and I'm starting to pitch up a little bit, and that's called your trim. So that's going to allow me, oh, it looks like I clicked it too many times. I'm going to click button three, and I need to pitch down. What I want to do is set this vertical speed to zero. That makes the aircraft a whole lot easier to control if you set your trim. So I went too many left clicks. I'm going to click right a little bit, kind of zero that out. And now it's a whole lot easier for me to control. It's just kind of flying by itself. I'm not actually even holding onto the joystick at all at the moment. So I'm just hitting the trim buttons, and you can see I finally got it pretty close trimmed to zero. So now we're at a level flight. Uh, that's really what you want. If you don't trim it, if you don't click those buttons three and four right where your thumb is, uh, you're going to be fighting it the entire flight. So right now, I don't have to do anything. My hand is off the joystick. 
it looks like my vertical speed is a little negative. I'm going to click button four once. And you'll, you are going to have to adjust it every now and then. Uh, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and speed up the simulation and see if we're getting any closer to that radial. Um, our needle is not moving. I'm going to raise it a little bit more. My altitude is good. I'm over 8,000 feet, so I'm over where I need to be in that airspace. We're going to increase the speed a little bit further. We're going to check our map out. You can see the needle is starting to swing. I'm getting really close to that radial. If I zoom in here, so that needle is going to start to swing because right now I am to the right of this line if you're looking towards that VOR. I'm to the right of that line. So it's saying go left, go left. So pretty soon that needle is going to stop saying go left and it's going to say boom, you're right on that line and then it's going to say go straight toward a heading of 210. So I need to be careful that I do that here. So let me change my sim to normal. You can see the needle has really swung and I need to go um, still need to go left just a little bit, but I, what I want to do is sort of zero this thing out. So once this loads, we'll do that. I'm going to pitch to the right, and I need to get to a heading of 210. It's a lot easier to control this aircraft now that my trim is set. I'm just gently tilting the stick to the right. And now that I'm on my heading here, oh, looks like I overshot it by just a little bit. And now what I should see is I'm pretty much right on that line. And boom, there it is, right on that line. That's where I've matched. As soon as I get right over the top of it, that arrow, this needle, should point um, really far one way or the other because it can't really figure out where that station is. Or it's I'm flying right over the top of it, so it's saying, hey, go way left or go way right. So let's take a look and see when that happens. We're going to speed it up just a hair. Looks like my, uh, my trim needs to be adjusted again. Oh, there we go. We're pretty stable. So we're going to speed it up to 4x and watch this needle really start to swing here. So that's not meaning that I'm off track. That just means that, boom, right there, I've probably gone right over the top of it. So if we look at our map, then that's exactly what's happened. Once that needle really swings, that means you've gone right over the top. Now I need to aim towards my second VOR station, which is this one here. So if we want to go to that, then I need to swing over 242 according to our flight plan. So that's where we initially set the needle to. And I've actually, it looks like I've actually set it a little bit higher than that. I'm almost at a heading of 250. So if I swing it um, a little bit more, well, looks like I'm actually approaching it now. And so I need to change my heading because right now I'm going at a heading at about 200. I need to change my heading to, to start to match up with this one. Uh, I'm not quite on that radial yet, as you can see here. Uh, the needle hasn't swung that far, which indicates that I'm actually still quite a ways from that VOR station. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go until I intersect it here. And if I look at my map, it doesn't quite match up with this line here, and that's okay because I want to actually follow what my um, heading number is. So if I go to the left edge here, that radio once it centers out, I will end up um, right over here at this one. So that's okay. It's just not quite on that same line. So as long as I'm, it's saying to go left to match up with this VOR, which is 113, 113, and that's what I'm doing. So eventually I should get to where this centers out. So let me, uh, let me get on that radial a little bit quicker. We're going to increase our sim speed just a bit. You can see the needle is getting closer and closer, so I'm getting closer and closer to that heading that I was looking for. Um, then I'm going to um, start to change my heading indicator to match up with this, which is a heading of about 245 or something like that. Now you can see that I am getting a little bit close to the mountains because um, my elevation is uh, has not changed, my altitude has not changed. So I'm going to pitch up just a little bit, give, gain a little altitude because I am going to be flying over the mountains. So you're going to have to be careful and watch out for that. So we're getting pretty close so I can start to pitch over and line up with this radial. And now we should be all set and heading pretty much straight towards that second VOR station. From there, once we get to that VOR station, and you can see it's clearly not the uh, most direct route, what I've done here, but uh, once we get to that VOR station, you need to adjust your knob so that you're going from this VOR station, and that will take you towards KGWS. 
So to adjust it to go from the VOR station, um, all you're going to do is look at your heading indicator on your flight plan, and that was a heading of 271. So if you tune this to 271, which is very close here, almost a straight west, and keep it centered, so this is centered on here, that should um, help you be flying straight towards the airport. So go ahead and give that a shot, give this whole flight plan a shot, and um, call me over if you have any questions. I'm going to continue to fly to the location, so if you want to keep watching, um, feel free. I did run into some issues, um, and so I'm starting to use my autopilot switch. So if you have an expensive aircraft, you might have this. So if you click um, the altitude, you really need to gain altitude a lot before you um, start flying towards the mountains because I actually ran into the mountains and had to fly backwards to gain altitude and come back up them. So um, if you set your altitude, I set mine to 15,000 feet, and then turn autopilot on and then click the altitude button, it will automatically climb and hold at 15,000 feet. And that makes it quite a bit easier. Now you can see I'm way off my uh, uh, VOR point here, so if I turn autopilot off, then I can swing back to that, and I need to go 30 degrees past it to sort of connect up with that again. And you can see it's um, I'm pretty close to getting to that one. I'm on 16x speed, so it's going to take me there pretty quick. And we'll see sort of where we're at at this point. So you can see that I had a little accident right here. So uh, And then I just was climbing during all this point, not even worrying about the uh, VOR at the moment, just trying to get some altitude. Uh, so now I'm heading straight towards it, so we'll see again if this uh, nav freaks out a little bit right when we go over the top of it, and then I'll show you how to do your, your last navigational turn on this VOR to get it to point towards where you want. And then my last OBS change, and I can actually maybe set this one to 113.0 right now, my last heading is going to be set to 271, so I might actually make that change now on this one here as I'm trying to fly, trying to do a lot of things at once here. And that's the next heading that I'm going to take. Now, I might have just gone right over the top of this, and I think that I did because both of those needles sort of freaked out there. So, yes, I did. I went right over the top. So now I need to change my heading to 271, and this should take me towards where I need to go. And it says I need to go right. If I'm going from 271, that you can see that indicator is now pointing from. That's good. That's what I want. I don't need to worry about this one now because I've actually set this one. And I, it says I need to go a little bit right to get on that radial. My guess is I don't have to go very far before this is going to start to swing. So let's curl to the right a little bit. We're going to take a 30 degree approach and then boom, it's already zeroed out really quickly. And from here, I'm, uh, I'm really close to that radial. I'm going from the station, from the VOR station, and I should be headed straight towards the airport at this point. So now is when I need to start uh, thinking about making a descent. And you can see, boom, I'm headed right towards KGWS. So this is where um, you're going to want to be looking out your window and trying to find landmarks and looking for where is that at. And if you want to click on the map to kind of give you some, uh, some help along the way, that's fine. But hopefully you've been able to use your VOR up to this point. And good luck.